Hey, this is DHG, and I'm back with my first playthrough of Bullet Witch. I believe I said in one of the earlier videos that I originally wanted to do this as part of the How Bad Is It? But considering that the game does, didn't really have a large fan base, didn't fit. It wasn't really hyped up either, so. I got a category for everything. Well, that's not very good. They kind of reminded me of the helicopter scene in Resident Evil 6 with uh, Jake and Sherry. Where they have to fight Usternak or whatever that thing was called. Jumping from helicopter to helicopter. That game is going to be in, uh, how bad is it? It's pretty much the epitome of that series. Oh yeah, and this is my first time recording for about two weeks on here. I don't know what happened to my computer. One of the components broke, I'm guessing. I went to work. My computer was in sleep mode like always. I came home and it was off. And when I turned it on, it could not connect to the internet. So I bought an ethernet adapter and it's working fine. Which leads me to think there was something on my motherboard that died. Or just the Windows update screwed it up. Wouldn't be a first time Windows update screwed something up on my computer. That'd be really cool if she could shoot while she's flipping through the air. There was a game that let you do that. Can't remember what it is though. You also control the female in that one. Oh no, not a sniper. Shit. Saw that a little too late. Continue. No, I give up. I give up on life. Getting reacquainted with the controls here. There's no such thing as excessive force. Now, why would they put this big overarching pass up here? I wonder if jumping down will kill me. 
Nope. <coughs> She's got superpowers. Why does he sound like that? Focus all the fire on this target! I was wondering, I thought an en enemy crept up behind me. No, it was just one of the exposable defense forces. Couldn't remember if I uh, had the ability to melee in this game or not. Like I said, it's been about two weeks. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Yep, apparently I can't do two at the same time. I'll just sit here for a while. Don't mind me, my eyelid spasming. Feels really weird. Now I see why they put that hill there. Put some snipers on it. If you can't tell, I don't like snipers. Especially in Battlefield. Especially when half your team decides to go recon. Oh, damn. I'm just getting all messed up today. Let me just try to bypass all this. That dude just said there's something so cute about corpses. This was kind of back before a time when dialogue wasn't really intended to mean anything outside of RPGs.
Yeah, I was gonna say, when are those shots gonna connect? Oh, can't see straight. And this guy's hard to hit. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Who could forget about this? Time to bleed on somebody. Have some blood. Maybe I can just go around them by taking this hill. Checkpoint! Finally. Uh, looks like I'm gonna be using a lightning bolt. Destruction is good. I'm just gonna hide back here for a little while. Staying still so I can kill you. Right thumbstick movement's not that great in this game. So I'm compensating by strafing right and left. It seems like the enemy's Get up. I need you to be cannon fodder. Is he gonna hand me some fruit? I'd laugh if he just pulled out a banana. Walking around with a minigun like that kind of makes me feel like I'm playing EDF. you trying to do? Oh, you missed. Dude, 
dude was trying to sneak up behind her and pull her skirt up. I guess I go down there. Taste fear as your soul burns away. The enemy. What's the power? I don't have enough more lightning, and that's what I need. Yep, I'm keeping an eye on that hill. Oh, I got my mana, if I can call it that, back. Witch power, whatever it is. I'm not sure if I heard that correctly, but it sounded like him saying in a really high-pitched voice, Grandpa, can you come to pick me up? Fits right in with the other voice lines I've heard so far. Kaboom! This cheese. Ah, don't have enough to reload it. I said, damn this tall ass Vietnamese grass. Oh, right, we're in America. Looks like somewhere in the Midwest. Also kind of looks like Resident Evil 4, oddly enough. Really? All your witch powers and you can't traverse that gap? Okay then, so where do I go? <clears throat> I was under the assumption I got some for destroying those barrels.
hold on. This is irritating the hell out of me. God, my back was itchy. Oh, takes care of that. Oh, those are those. Kind of look like something from, um... Oh, I can't think of the name of the game. Oh, yeah, that's right. I already made this, um... Comparison. Half-Life 2. When you go to Ravenholm. Look at all these old farts. Oh my god! Hey look, they turn into assholes. I remember these things hitting you for a lot of damage. And I don't need none of that. serving as the intermediary. If we destroy its body, they won't be able to come through anymore. I believe that's true. Ah, <sighs> video game logic. I never get tired of it. I don't think that was the end of this chapter. My back's still itchy. When in doubt, shoot the piss out of it. Hey look, retards in the forest. Got freaking an army of slimers coming after me. Leave my brains alone. That thing must be spawning them. Holy shit, that thing's fast. That's one ugly son of a bitch. No, you don't hit me. Ooh, that's a hell of an attack.
Hey, we got a Hulk running around over here. No, you don't. I think the big ones spawn in these assholes. I still didn't kill this guy yet. Shot in the heart, and you're to blame. Hulking fat ass down. Oh, uh, timber. That's what I get for being a smart ass. All the way back here. I'm gonna leave the Half-Life 2 wannabes alone and go for the spawners. Okay, maybe I have to shoot these things. Oh my god, those things are annoying.
This time I'm not going to get crushed by a giant falling fat ass. Kind of reminds me of the forest in Dark Souls 1. Exactly sure where to go here. These dumbasses. and pray. Looks like I cro uh, caused a rock slide. can, so why not?
I was hoping he would say something. Looks like he's got a couple of ribs poking out there. There's only one month left <coughs> before my daughter's trip. She said she wanted to travel when she turned 13. She said she wanted to see the Mediterranean Sea. <coughs> Where her mother was born. It was just last year that she started talking about it. We had a little party here today. My daughter threw me a surprise birthday party. She's been toiling away all day in the kitchen getting ready. <laughs> I'd totally forgotten what day it was. What a sweet girl she is. When I came home, she greeted me in an outfit I'd never seen before. Apparently, she'd been clothes shopping with a friend today. I would have preferred something less showy. I worry about her attracting unwanted attention. Every day, she looks more and more like her mother. God rest her soul. Tomorrow is finally the day I've been dreading. Last night she suddenly started crying, saying she. I'm just gonna take a wild guess, and but this is my character's father, happened. Alicia. I think her name is. What a sweet, lovely girl she is. My beloved daughter, more precious to me than life itself. This man who allowed the demons into this world, who turned the earth into the living hell, <coughs> who did it all for one single purpose, to bring his own daughter back to life. But did he know that his daughter would have to live with the knowledge of all the suffering that her life had brought? Why? Why? Please tell me. Why couldn't you just let me die in peace? Why? I thought so. The daughter you knew? She's dead. 
His beard is so low resolution. What you see here isn't your beloved daughter. You see someone who fights to make up for the endless crimes laid at her feet. A witch. Don't forget. What's that saying? I always love you. The road to, road to hell is paved with good intentions. Me thinks that was the end of the chapter. Yep. Doesn't say how many times I died. Eh. Alright. Well, that's the end of this one. 200 skill points. I'll get that. Alrighty then. Like I said, that's the end of this one. I'll see you later.